Hello, Influencers. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching me. Welcome to another edition of No Host Bad with IT. My name is Itunu. Thank you so much to all of my subscribers, those who have subscribed to this channel, and those who are yet to subscribe to. Thank you. <laughs> so today I want to discuss, there's, there's, Nigeria is on fire, unfortunately. Uh, it's, it's not that it, it just started. We all know what has been going on. But the fire is getting intense by the day. And it's unfortunate that we have leaders that don't know what they are doing. I'm not talking about Buhari. I have done a video before. I'm going to put the link here. Nigeria is Islamic by constitution. And those people know it. Now there is a threat that churches in Nigeria should be closed down for three months. Not by the government, but by uh jihadists all right let me allow you to subscribe to this channel please like this video share and when i come back we'll rub my thank you so much god bless you so they wrote the islamic jihadists they wrote that uh, churches should close down in nigeria for three months somebody just sent me the video <laughs> for three months um i'm going to allow you to watch that video it's courtesy of ait nigeria and it's so it's so sad let me just allow to watch it then i'll come back then we'll talk we'll rub mics on it <laughs> The threat letter was not sent to the churches. The threat letter was dropped at around the headquarters and was brought to me. I was the one that opened the envelope, read the threat letter. On seeing that, I now invited the Christian Association of Nigeria to tell them about the threat. Whether it is real or not, we have to be security conscious. So I gave them copies of the letter so that they will adjust their programs in the church. Instead of closing late, they should close on time. Thereabout, I now directed all my details to ensure that every Friday, police patrol team must go to mosque and give them adequate security until they finish the Jumat prayers. Equally, on Sundays, all the patrol teams will go around the churches and ensure that they are safe and after the church service before they close. The threat will not take it lightly because you don't know who is behind it. And I've advised the Christian community to be peaceful, they should not bother, I'm on top of the situation, and I told them that if they, have, if they notice anything, they should make sure they inform me immediately. And they themselves should have their security men to be on guard. If they see any suspicious movement, they should inform me. Because security is not just for the police, it's for everybody. So that's what I did. The letter came to me by investigating. <laughs> Look at police boss in Nigeria. Number one, he the letter was dropped at the police headquarters. I don't know where, which area there it was dropped. And then the first thing that this man could say was that churches should close on time. That's the best he could say. Because um, look at what happened in Owo. The Owo church was not, the Catholic church in Owo was not attacked during, during a, a, a night vigil. It was during daytime, Sunday service. So, how soon can church now close? He said they're on top of the situation as as usual. That's what we hear all the time. If Nigeria were to be a country that works, somebody will come near the police headquarters and drop a letter. No camera, nothing. Abuja was supposed to, to have CCTV camera in the city. Abuja and Lagos. They embezzled the money. 
I did I did a story on it with the Guardian. Billions of naira. Nothing happened. Nobody was arrested. Now I've said it before on this channel. Khan is a joker. In that video, I I said it to last week when the Boras issue happened two weeks ago. If pastors in Nigeria will not get their act together, I told them in that video, if you don't match all of you, I call them out. If you don't match to Asso Rock, to go and to go and show your grievances about what is happening in Nigeria, you kept quiet. You think when you organize programs, some people come, they give offering, they give this money, this, that, you are okay. You are not. Now, I don't know who will hear this threat and still dress up on Sunday and go to church. People that were killed in Owo, it was during Sunday service, not at a night vigil. I said in that video, and I'm saying it again, if things are not, if you keep quiet, you, 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 are, you keep keeping quiet. All those land masses, you are quiet to be churches, they will become refugee camps. God forbid bad thing, because when people run from their houses, they will run there. I showed you a video here last week, one of the churches in Owo, how people were running Heta Skelter. They were saying in David, they couldn't even go to their houses. If all you do is to go to visit Buhari, give him a handshake and smile and take photo with him, then you don't know what you are doing. When it's when they talk about uh when sometimes back when the karma law, somebody was trying to raise karma law that churches should be uh, should be monitored and all that and all that. We knew how you people were cursing. Some went to Asso Rock. Some we mount their pulpit on Sunday and begin to curse. Now you cannot do anything. You cannot curse nothing. Everybody is handicapped. Nigerian police, they are handicapped. The weapon in the hands of this miscreant is even more sophisticated than the ones in the hands of the police. I don't know the number of police that will now be monitoring churches. I don't understand. Is, is this, is it how we're going to continue? So if it is about people who are comfortable, pastors, you are comfortable because we've not had anybody said anything. Everybody is quiet. You just want to stay in your corner and eat and be comfortable. You have security details around you. Now your members doesn't. So they can't come to church. How do you raise your offering? Anyway, during lockdown, you told them, some of you told them to still pay offering from home on, on online. So people, this is the latest development. Let me know your thoughts. Which way, Nigeria? When late um, Sonny Okosun sang that song, it wasn't even like this. It, I mean, we didn't even have all this. It was, it was just, you were just uh, talking, you were just, he just sang about, about corruption in government that time. It, was, it sang about past wars in the past in other African countries and all that and all that. He's, he sang, which way, Nigeria? So which way? So people, it's so sad. It's a, it's a very sad one. I don't know how people want to survive. I was on the phone with an, uh, a friend of mine. He's, yeah, she's in UK just uh, yesterday. And I said, we we're talking about Nigeria. And I said, I can't imagine the number of people that, that will have gotten hypertension in that country as a result of fear. I don't know, I can't imagine it. Of course, this is a country where we don't have, we don't have anything about statistics with no data, nothing. So people, it's so unfortunate, I don't know. If we say it is prayer, we are praying. 
advanced countries of the world, they didn't get to the level they are with prayers. Prayer is good. But how about putting things in place? People died in all, and it was as if nothing happened. The lives of human beings is, is the lives of chicken is even more precious now in Nigeria than the lives of human being. It's so unfortunate. So please let me know your thoughts. It, um, I don't even know. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please share this video, like, and um, let me know your thoughts. God bless you. Bye.